Great design is like a brownie for me, but instead of making me satisfied here, it makes me happy here and here. I'm Jared Yoshida. Welcome to my project on the Upper West Side. I'm looking forward to showing you what's on the inside. Come on in. The challenge in the entry is it sets up the tone for the rest of the house. So we changed out the runner and made it look like water flowing down. We added a beautiful mid-century chandelier. And then finally, we changed out the paint color so that it became a really neutral foil for this gorgeous black and white photography collection. So the playfulness and the color are combined in a way that I think you'll see work very well through the rest of the house. What we did for this room was preserve the beautiful architectural details like the wainscoting and the surrounds on the windows and complemented it with our contemporary furniture including this surfboard lacquered black dining table the upholstery on these chairs, and finally, this gorgeous mid-century Austrian chandelier that looks like a firework exploding. This is the sitting area of the parlor floor where we connected it to the dining room in transition between materials, pattern, and color. Some contemporary ideas that we inserted include this extra wide sofa, this Pace Collection brass and glass cocktail table, as well as that shelter sofa on my left, and that beautiful Macassar open slipper chair on the right. We found two gorgeous Murano mouth-blown lamps, as well as this really terrific vintage chandelier, which has the effect not only of providing light, but providing a sculptural centerpiece. Bring your eye up and making sure that we appreciate the volume of a really fantastic brownstone. This kitchen used to be very dark and uninviting, and rather than rip it out, we looked for opportunities. So we kept the original layout and the original wood cabinetry, but we painted it, put new hardware on it, added new lighting, put in a new backsplash, and I think it transformed the space into something that feels luxurious, light, and airy. In the main bedroom, you can never have enough storage. So what we did was put this bed in the center of the room, creating a headboard that not only divides the space from the additional cabinetry in the back, but also has additional storage here as well. What's terrific about this chandelier is it's evocative of our client's background from Hawaii. You can see the reference here to lanterns. It's covered in a totally contemporary material, which gives us a fresh take on a classic and well-respected form. With all the color downstairs, we decided to go for next to no color here and enhance it with all these terrific neutrals, like the stone top, the painted back, the ultra suede for the headboard, and of course, the great sheeting, but combined together, create enough interest, texture, and engagement, but actually feels inviting and welcoming, and most of all, relaxing. What we did here today was uncover traditional architecture and mix in contemporary and modern elements to create a feeling that I hope you agree is welcoming, chic, and effortless. Thanks for stopping by today. Can't get enough of these breathtaking homes? Hit that subscribe button for more open house coming your way.